Oh yeah. We got another one. Let's go. Yes, sir. I need to put another one off. Yeah. Let's chat about it. Let's go. All right, I'm back at it. Off non drops some heat. Simple and clean presentation today. I want to chit and chat about 9 p.m. from Off Nine. All right. Okay, today we're going to take a look at this top tier sweeter clone fragrance. I'm going to go over the presentation, notes to make up this fragrance, who's this for, when to wear this, and ultimately, should you blind buy this? Now, just straight away, it's a clone of Ultra Male by Jean Paul Gaultier. You don't know who Jean Paul Gaultier, real quick. A little history of the brand. Originated in 1976, Jean Paul Gaultier is a fashion house known for a sailor inspired clothing line as well as those same influences uh, influencing their fragrance line. They make fragrances for men and women with a strong focus on inclusivity uh, as well as pushing the envelope when it comes to their voice as a brand. Now, Jean Paul Gaultier created a line of fragrances called Le Mal. These fragrances focus on the different aspects of masculinity and introduce some intoxicating and unique takes on what a male fragrance should be. So now that we're clear on who Jean Paul Gaultier is and what the house brings to the table, I've not keyed in on this gym of Ultra Mile with 9 p.m. and it's good. It's real good. Let's chat about it. Now, before I go any further, quick pause for you showing up, showing support. Hopefully this is helping you guys out make some decisions, et cetera, et cetera. I appreciate you. Thanks for locking in because I am keenly aware. You can be anywhere on the net, but you're here with me. Really appreciate that. Perfect. Now, this is really going to help the channel out. So roughly 90% of you who watch this channel are subscribed. Let's do something about that. Go ahead and hit this. And hit that too for me. Go ahead. Sheesh. Thank you. All right. Now, okay, this bottle. Simple presentation, simple but good. You have a stick clear glass bottle with simple printed label, round metal cap, good heft to it. Um, let's go ahead and get a little spritzer. Now, being a non-pressure atomizer, this is this is what you want right here. Let's talk about those notes and see what floats. Now, straight away, you're getting a fresh, sweet characteristics, which are the same as what you have found uh, in Ultra Male. You won't need any blues clues here to figure out, you know, what uh, Offenon was attempting to do here. So for the most part, uh, if you're just stumbling across this video, just looking to try something new, maybe a little bit sweeter, or if you're looking for an alternative, to John Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male, but slightly less sweet, uh, then I think you're in the right spot and I think this one's gonna work for you. So when this first hits your skin or your clothes, you're gonna get a gentle sweetness. And it's not as pronounced as it is in the original. It's gonna be somewhat a little bit more restrained, um, but somehow it's have the same impact. Maybe even more so once this settles down on your skin and dries down a bit. This one has more of an approachable opening, not so sticky sweet in the opening as uh, some of his fragrances can be. All of those opening notes were created by combination of apple, cinnamon, lavender, and bergamot. I think the lavender notes are what gives us some of this powdery accord. This along with this apple note kind of gives us a sweet softness. I know none of these things lends to this fragrance uh, being masculine and uh, interestingly being called ultra male, but stick with me for a second. In the mids, you got simply Lily of the Valley, orange blossom listed here. The way that this fragrance comes together overall, there's some, there's some that out there is not gonna like this immediately, um, but sometimes fragrances do the job of pleasing others more than it pleases us, which is just how it goes sometimes. In the dry down, it's put together with a combination of vanillic notes alongside with a uh, little hints of patchouli. We love it, all right? Now, Tonka being a little amber, you know, by this point in time, you know, it's hitting my nasality it's just about, it just, it's just perfect, all right? Performance is this guy right here. All right, a little bit surprising. This projects pretty well, so a four to five, five to six spray routine between skin and clothes is gonna get you some great projection for a few hours. I think this is even better than the original JPG. Now, this is gonna get you a solid scent bubble, great scent trail. This is a 100 milliliter offering. You know, a lot of bang bang for your buckaroos. Coinage optimized here. I was on skin, you're getting about eight to 10. It's kind of wild that this fragrance can become, you know, it's kind of light, but it lasts so long on your skin. And trust me, if you're moisturizing your neck and your skin, you're all the way into the next day. 
It's going to be definitely soft the next day. It's definitely noticeable. As far as the projection, for the first couple of hours, you're going to get probably uh, two arms length of projection. Um, this one will project for a bit, but not too long, maybe about an hour or so. Then it's going to sit a little bit close to the skin, but still not a skin sand. On the sea eyes, it's again, going to be gentle, sweet, but a confident whiff. Um, it's one of those fragrances that if you know who you are and you do this right, you know, it comes across in a very seductive way. Women are going to love this. It's not gonna be like, a, you smell like me. It's gonna, you know, it's, it's gonna be one of those ones that ends up leading to a, a bit of seduction. That's my opinion, of course. When should you wear this? What the I'm glad you asked. Evening, nights out, dates, brunch, weddings, you know, it has this easy going, casual sophistication. Um, it's a bit collect, it's fun, you know, it's letting loose a little bit. So wear this on all those occasions. As far as the season wise, it's basically gonna work all year round. It's light enough to work in the heat and come across as a slightly of a cozier fragrance for the for the cooler weather. You know, this is definitely gonna work great on a uh, Christmas sweater. So who's this for? You can pick this up and do some work all the way from high school and up. It says a lot of those things that I think a younger crowd would be interested in, as well as having some of the elements that I think uh, would be more uh, for the sophisticated nuance crowd as well. You know, the gents, you know, this one should blip on your radar. Now, all things considered, I've seen this one floating around on interwebs, you know, um, at least the interwebs I pay attention to, and believe it or not, I watch fragrance reviews my damn self. And support us, all right? This was one of those ones I was planning on picking up. I'm glad I did, all right? I think this is interesting. It's not as sweet as the OG, but just the right amount of, uh, for my taste and the last, the price is right. So we got a banger, period. You know, an absolute banger. So the price point, damn near should have laid with this one because it's so good. It's 95% of the original. Uh, you can pick this one up for the low 20s. I mean, like 24 and under, maybe even 19, you know. And you know what that adds up to. You know what that adds up to. Too damn easy. Where can you buy this? Don't look any further than your search bar. Just type it in Google. All right, look, look for the latest and greatest prices. If you didn't know, as soon as I come across some of those discount codes for any of these fragrances, you'll be the first to know. All right, now we've, we've arrived, okay? We've made it to the question. Now, should you blind buy this? All right, is this worthy of a blind buy? Don't hold your breath. Let's see how many stars we have. Yep, five. It's gonna be five for me. Five stars, yes, sir. Hey, thanks again for locking in with your boy. I appreciate all these comments, man. Keep them coming, man. I love reading them. And if you haven't already, no time better than the present. Do a quick swipe. Like and definitely subscribe. Tell a friend. Look, groom well, but hey, don't, don't skate off so fast. You're chilling. Go ahead and click one of these up here. Go ahead and click one out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. More fire. All right, until next time, YouTube. Two ski. Oh yeah, we got another one, let's go.